I had a client who described her depressive episodes like she's fallen into a pit. This deep, dark place where it was very difficult to get out of. She would say things like if when she was triggered, she would have these dark thoughts about herself. Like she's worthless, she's stupid, no one likes her, life is meaningless. And she would describe those depressive episodes like falling into this pit. That really was what made me think about this, the topic of this video, because I think a lot of people, maybe you, feel like you fall into a pit during your depressive episode. And so I wanted to create something and to offer hope, but also give you things that you can do, some strategies that you can work on whenever you start to feel like your, your depressive episodes are like a pit. When my client would fall into these negative episodes, she would constantly beat herself up. Her inner critic was very loud. The inner critic would say things like, there's something wrong with you, see no one likes you, see your life is terrible, there's no hope in your life right now. And she would start to believe that. She would give in to those thoughts and so that was her pit. That was her negative depressive episode pit. I know a lot of you struggle with that very thing. When she was in this depressive episode, she would beat herself up constantly. She was really good at it. In fact, better than anybody else around her. Uh, she was really good at beating herself up. And these thoughts would hold her back and hold her down. And so I wanted to give you some, some encouragement today during this and, and try to help you realize why you keep falling into these depressive episode pits and what you can do about it. When my client would fall into these negative depressive pits, uh, she would start to believe things that weren't really true about herself and about her life. It felt like it was true, but it really wasn't true. She didn't know that it was true. So she started to believe the negative narratives that she was telling herself and it made her stuck. She couldn't get out of it. And so eventually when she did get out of the pit, she would be fine for a little while and then something else triggered and she fell right back into another pit. And it seemed to be a, a reoccurring thing. She falls into a negative episode pit she gets out of it for a while, and then something happens to trigger her thoughts, and then that she's right back into it. And it's just this cycle, goes around and around, and, and she wanted to break free from that. And so I started working with her, and we came up with a plan, and the plan is called I CAN, it's an acronym, I CAN. And so I wanna talk about this, because I want you to start believing I CAN. So here are some things that you can do whenever you find yourself struggling in this depressive episode pit. I want you to be thinking and remember, I can. So if you struggle like my client did, this negative thought cycle, something happens, she starts to get down on herself, and then now she's depressed, very dark place, and she can't get out of it for a while, and then she does, and then she falls into it again. If that describes you, let's talk about this. Let's talk about why you fall into that pit and what you can do about it, the I can strategy. Okay, so here is the I can strategy. Number one is identify your negative thoughts. That's the I, identify your negative thoughts. The next acronym is C, control your emotion. And then A is to acknowledge your feelings. And then the N is negotiate your behavior. You see, your negative thoughts are connected to how you feel, which is then connected to how you behave. And when you start to believe these negative thoughts, even if you don't know that they're true, a lot of times they're not, they're a cognitive distortion, and you start to believe these negative things about yourself or about your life, and then they influence how you feel, which then can influence how you behave. For instance, if you start to think that you're a nobody, that you're a failure, no one likes you, you're gonna get depressed. And then it's going to influence your behavior. You're gonna withdraw, you're gonna with isolate, you're gonna hide from people. You don't want to go out, right? You just wanna pull the, the sheets and the covers over your head and avoid everybody because you believe, you can trace all the way back to your thought that you believe that you're a nobody listening to your inner critic. But when you start to believe that ne negative narrative, 
that's when it starts to creep in and that's when you fall into that pit. So learn to identify that you're having a negative thought. Learn to identify and ask yourself, is this thought actually true? Is this something that's actually happening? Or is it something that I think is happening? Or is it something that I'm believing that's not necessarily true? Am I jumping to conclusion? Am I catastrophizing? The next step is, is the C, controlling your emotions. Now, this is a lot easier said than done, I get that. But control your emotions. Think about it, your emotions is like a, a wild horse. And a wild horse, it's gonna run wild. It's gonna go all over the place, wherever it wants. And sometimes when you're in that negative state, your emotions are wild. And learning how to tame your emotions is gonna be so important. And so learning to identify it's a negative thought, but then trying to reframe that negative thought into a more positive thought. What do you know to be true? And then the A is to acknowledge your feelings. Your feelings are valid. It's okay to feel the way you're feeling. Even anger is okay. And even stress and worry and all these things, that, those are okay. Those are, those are what make you human, right? Our emotions make us human. And so acknowledge that that you are okay for feeling the way that you're feeling. Those feelings that you're feeling are valid, but sometimes those feelings are influenced by those negative thoughts that we just talked about. Learn to acknowledge and be okay with how you're feeling, but you don't have to be okay with the negative thoughts that you're having. Do you see the difference? Acknowledge your emotions are valid, but you also wanna challenge those negative thoughts. And then the, the last one, the N, is negotiate your behavior. Okay, so here's one of those things that it's easier said than done for sure. Negotiating your behavior is being willing to do something that you don't really wanna do. I know it goes against everything, right, that you're thinking, I don't wanna do that, so you avoid it. But avoidance so often leads to complacency, which then leads to you staying stuck in that depressive episode pit. And you don't wanna do that. And so what are some things that you can do? You're not gonna to wanna to do it, but you do it anyway. Yes, you wanna challenge your thoughts, you want to uh, acknowledge how you feel, and you wanna control those emotions, but negotiating your behavior is really where the rubber meets the road. It's getting up and getting out of bed negotiating your behavior. I don't wanna get out of bed, but I'm gonna do it anyway. It's taking a shower. I don't want to get a shower, but I'm going to do it anyway. It's going out for a walk. I don't want to go for a walk, but I'm going to do it anyway. I don't want to do the dishes. I don't want to clean the house, but I'm going to do it anyway. That's negotiating your behavior. It's challenging the thoughts, but also challenging how you really feel what you don't want to do, but you're going to do it anyway. And so what happens is, it, when you when you negotiate your behavior and you do things that you don't really want to do, it creates this sense of accomplishment. And that's really what you want to get out of this depressive episode because you're, the trigger that got you into that pit needs to, needs to shrink and your challenging and negotiating your behavior needs to get larger. You need to be able to get up and do something, get some movement, eat healthy, exercise, drink water, get plenty of, of sleep. Those are all things that you can do to negotiate your behavior. So those, those are all the strategies that I think will help you when you fall into that depressive episode pit again. Think about I can, I can. Identify your negative thoughts, to control your emotions, to acknowledge your feelings, and then negotiate your behavior. That's what's gonna get you out of this negative pit that you're in. The next time that you fall in, and you probably will, you go right back to, I can. I can do this. Yes, you can. You can get out of this depressive episode pit that you're falling into. And guess what? You can do it the next time, and the next time, and the next time. And the more you're able to do the I can strategy, the more you're gonna be able to get out of those pits and the less frequent that those suppressive episode pits will happen. I know you can do this. You need to know this. You gotta have some buy-in. What are you gonna do today? What step are you gonna do today to get out of that depressive episode pit that you're in? 
or maybe you can help someone else. So share this video with somebody that's struggling with their depression today. Even if it's just gloomy out and it's controlling them, share this video. I mean, this is what's gonna help. You may not know what to say or how to help somebody, but you can share this video with them. I'll talk later in some other videos about each of those steps of the I can strategy, but for now, keep working on you and I'll see you next time.